Hi, my name's Makasi, and it's been a while. It's been like two months now. Whoa. Hi, my name's Makasi, and welcome back. Welcome back to my channel. Sorry for the late video, but I was in Europe. I have some vlog coming up. I have some video coming up. Let's get started. So, first pickup today, we have this giant box. Let's open it up. Okay, next. Next item I want to show you is actually something that I'm very excited to have in my closet. So, this is probably my third most exciting item that I picked up today. And let's get, let's talk about it. So, this is the Stefan Koch leather cross body bag, but the main reason I got it is because of this strap right here. So, um, this particular bag, this this particular bag, it's from the Fall Winter 21, and you know I'll put up the photo of the runway right now. But a lot of different variation of this bag, the strap. They also have um, the Sherling one. I personally do not know much about Stefan Cook as a brand or as a designer. Here are all I know. I know that he is a graduate of Central Saint Martin from London. I know he runs his business with his partner Jake Burt. Yeah, I believe it was Jake Bird, and um, <clears throat> the first official collection was like 2019 or 2020. It's a rel they're a relatively young brand, and this strap is this strap was on their first runway and became what they were known for. And then they also came up with this right here, and this is the second thing that they're known for. Once again, you know, you know how I am, so it's just gonna be a quick view of the bag. This is just a pick up video. I will go in depth with it. I will use it for two to three weeks and then I will tell you what it's like. I will tell you it's pros, it's con. What I can tell you right now is the retail on these was like 600, 700, 800, somewhere around that range. If you were to buy the strap alone, it's 350, 350, 450. So pretty expensive. So the reason I don't like this bag particularly, so I just bought it for the strap. And um, my plan is to go find a different bag and then attach the strap to that bag and use it. But I will use this bag for two to three weeks just to tell you like it's good. Maybe it'll grow on me, but the shape right now, I'm not particularly fond of the shape. It's not really me. It doesn't fit my aesthetic. It doesn't fit my mood. So, but I will use it just to tell you how it is. But I can tell you right now, the leather is not the greatest. It's a bit thin. I don't know if you can tell. But I do like this detail a lot. So this is, um, they call it the tassel. They, and they also sell it as a keychain, but it's huge. And everything is detachable. So let me just, let me just show you on body again. So this is how I would wear it when I'm out and about. And the strap does not hurt the body right now. And although it does look like it may be uncomfortable, it does not. It's like um, looking at those Bottega and a chain bag. Like it looks uncomfortable, but these designers are very smart. So they develop these certain mechanism or certain, des they design these chain looking bags to be very comfortable around the shoulder because they know you're gonna put it around your shoulder. So yeah. And um, everything is detachable. You can detach the tassel, which I will show you right now. So the tassel, gone. You can detach the strap. So the bag by itself and the strap. I actually, <clears throat> I actually found out about this strap back in 2019 by this photo. And you might recognize the model. His name is Leon Dame. Leon Dam. I'm so sorry if I pronounced your name wrong, but you probably know him from the Margiela Runway Show. I'll include the video right now. But yeah, so that that video went. <coughs> 
that video of Leon walking went viral as it should because it just it's so new it's something bright that's just this energy that he brings so it is that so but once again Stefan Cook the chain strap I <clears throat> I am cur currently looking for a bag to attach it to I am currently looking at some LV bags like vintage ones and I am also looking at um, Balenciaga, like something that doesn't have a lot of logo or very small, just something very, um, something plain. I want something plain where I can just like kind of disappear when I'm out and about. It's not like too attention grabby, you know, but if I get the Louis Vuitton, obviously the LV prints gonna be all over it, but I feel like people are just so used to LV Vuitton, Louis, LV, <coughs> LV Vuitton. All right, so next up is actually something that I actually wanted since I believe the runway came out January 21st of 2021. This was his first or second pandemic collection. And this is the Rick Owen Gethsemane. Gethsemane. And this is just a different variation of the Rick Owen 18 Sisyphus, the puffer, but this is like the weird brother, the weird sister. And I think this is by far, by far my favorite. I've been fangirling over this jacket for a year now and I am so glad that I have it and one of the main thing that you're probably catching on is that the sleeve is extra long the crop body <clears throat> now what you've seen on this channel so far is that you've seen the Rigoan and Montclair collaboration the Tonopa and you've also seen the Rigoan Performa which is my burgundy one I'm sure I'm putting the photo up as I'm talking or video but this is by far my favorite and one of the main reasons is that I just like the front I like how simple it is you just see the three padded things and with my Performa which is it's a bit too busy and with my Montclair it's just like though I do like the star effect it just it becomes it's very it's very stimulating and I like something simple like this is simple to me like as much as simple as it could be and Another cool thing about this jacket that I can show you right now is the shoulders, you can un you can unstrap them, unbutton them. Hang on, hang on. And then you can do this. You can you can wear it like a vest and then the sleeve would just be hanging on the ground. So I think I think it's really cool. In terms of outerwear, Gethsemane has some of the best outerwear from Rick in a while or forever really. Like it's such a strong collection in my opinion. I'm gonna wear this jacket for two or three weeks and I'll write my script. I'll figure that out. I expect like a 30, 40, 30 to 40 minute, 30 to 40, 30 to 40 minutes in-depth review because i love this so much and you know look at this look at this claw <laughs> it's so big it's so it's so weird it's so out there and um i can i can tell you one of the cons right now is that um it has no exterior pocket which is this which is very similar to the sisyphus the first one no exterior pocket there's just two interior pocket here so that's a con to me because, you know, as a winter jacket, when it's cold out, you would like to put your arm in, you know, but anyway, this is going to be, this is hopefully, I will, not hopefully, this is going to be my everyday jacket for the next two to three weeks. I will dry with it. I will go to the bathroom in it. I will jerk off with it. I will tell you how it is, how practical it is like what do you have to do to pee like what about eating the sleeves are so long how will you eat blah blah blah. i'll answer all those questions the quality of the gown um 
what else? You know, all the, all the all the necessary questions that you need to ask yourself before buying a jacket. Like, how easy is it for me to jerk off in this? And now, but yeah, I I just love it. This is my favorite jacket right now. My third item are pants. I actually, I don't think I've shown you guys pants on my channel. Or like, talk about pants, even though I think pants are the most important part of a of an outfit. Like pants really determine everything. But this is the Homepolisai Isemiyaki, the pleated trousers. So um but I will make a video about my pants, like if you guys are interested. And most of you guys are, especially I do get a lot of comment about like, hey, where do you get your pants? And then I have to give people the saddest answer they could that they they could ever want, which is it's vintage. So like they can't go buy it. But most of my pants are vintage because like it took me a while to get these. These are 300, 350, and I got these on sale for like 150, 170. And to me, like I wear to straight bright, straight bright, straight black legged trouser or white legged trouser, which I can find at vintage shop and thrift shops easily for five to ten dollars so it's hard for me to justify buying this buying similar pants from a brand name so you know like unless so the reason i got these finally was that like i was like okay i can never find these in the thrift store this is fairly unique you're not gonna find it and you know it, it's Miyagi, like he's a great designer and you know like they they have been trying to perfect this proprietary pleating technique since like 1988 and i believe they i believe Isemiyaki um, founded the Om Plisse line as its own in 2013 or early 2010s. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm never wrong. Maybe, I don't know. Cool purple pants. But yeah, um, I do want to say one thing. There are a lot of video reviewing these and something that they never answer is that it's uh, stretchy pants, you know, it's, this is fake. I always thought there was like a button. That's why like, I don't know why people emphasize the sizing so much, like it's stretchy. I can probably wear a size one, size two and three. Oh, by the way, this is a size three. But the reason I got the size three was like, everybody was like, oh, size two fits like this, size one fits like this. So I was like, okay, maybe I have to button it. So I have to be careful, just go super oversized and I can always belt it. But they never answered that it. it's stretchy pants. So like you can practically get any size and it'll fit you. It just depends on the level of cropness and your crotch area. But this is high waisted. I believe the, I believe from the crotch area, it's about like 14 to 15 inches, which is great. You know, when you have a big dick, you know, like you need a lot of room. So, and uh, material wise, it's just 100% polyester. And you know, it's so far I've worn these I haven't worn these outside, but I worn these like to get out of the car to go grocery shopping real quick. And so far when I'm walking outside, it has kept me a bit warm, but I feel like when you're outside too long, it just, I don't know, polyester doesn't keep you warm. That's why they blend it with cotton, uh, whatever, you know, it's just 100% polyester stuff. It doesn't keep you warm. So like, you know, I will test these out. I will make a separate video, an in-depth video, but these trousers are amazing so far. I love it. And something else to note is that my family love it too. It reminds them of like these old traditional Cambodian clothes. So next season, I am actually gonna get a couple pairs for them so they can just, you know, wear it. But they do like the material and I love how comfortable it is. But yeah, um, these are the straight legged trousers according to Matches Fashion. No, on Matches Fashion, it's that slim leg, but I looked on Essence, they don't have slim leg, it's just straight leg. I think it's just like the two different words, but I think matches fashion is wrong when it's at slim. It's actually straight legged. It's like, this is definitely not slim. Like I'm sure you saw already or are or is seeing like how it fits on me. So, you know, it's not slim, but yeah, I know I know that these pan was popular or is popular and there are a lot of video out there reviewing these, but I personally think that I can make better videos than all of them because I will go truly, truly in depth, in depth, and like tell you all the answers that you need before you buy this item. Or, you know, if you're just interested in fashion, I can kill 20 minutes with you while you just watch me ramble on about polyester, uh, 
who is Miyagi is the Olympic uniform that he designed, uh, the Om Pisse line, um, the bomber jacket that Robin William wore, you know, whatever it is, you know, like we can talk about it for 20 minutes. If you like fashion, you just want to hear another person talking passionately about something you're passionate about. Is that fair to say? But yeah, first pants on this channel. I will do more video about pants, but yeah, 100% polyester, purple, size 3. Retail was like 300 something or 300 on the dot. I got these for 150, 170, 180 around that area after tag shipping, blah, 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 blah. Purple pants, Thanos pants. Next up, these are the Patagonia pants. And the official name is that, um, is it? The official name is, hang on. I will find the official name. I'll just put it up. Anyway, yeah, so I went to Europe for a month. So let's say I went there for 30 days. 29 of those days, I wore these pants. These pants are so insulated. So these are hiking pants and um, retail on these were 150, 140 around there. But I went to Maine, I live with my family and I got these on sale for $40, which is a great price. And I love it. Like, I love how it fits. And I love the fact that it has a belt. So, you know, like, it's pretty cool, you know, like when you're traveling, you don't want to bring a lot. Like, oh, by the way, when I went to Europe, I brought a backpack. That's all I brought. So like for a month, I just lived within these pants, literally. So with the fact that these came with the belt was very handy. It saved me some space. And another thing that I like is that it has another pocket on the knee. So like, this is where I kept all like the receipt because like when I travel, I like to keep receipts from like the train receipt from the flight whatever it is a receipt from like a local store that i like so then when you come back home when you look back at those receipts like it it makes you relive the day that you live while you're on vacation which is nice and my other favorite thing about these pants is that you can flare them out at the bottom because these are hiking pants so it has a practicality purpose so when you go hiking your hiking boots they tend to be big so patagonia thought of it so when you go hiking, when you wear your hiking boots and the pants don't fit over, you raise it up, you flare it out. And then now it's bigger. Now it's bigger, so you can put this over your hiking pants. So, you know, it's great. But yeah, for 30 days, for 29 days, I wore these in the rain, in the snow. I hike up a mountain. I went to Paris in these. I went to Austria, Germany, Munich, wherever, you know, like it just, it's great for all weather. It kept me very warm. Something else I can show you now, it's a bit insulated. Like look, like this material right here. I don't know if you can see it, but it keep it keeps me warm. And I will do an in-depth in-depth video about this soon because I love it so much. I love the fit. It's high rise. What's not to love about high rise? And you can flare it out when you want to. So great pair of pants. But yeah, these are Patagonia. And you know, like Patagonia is also a great brand. A great brand, you know, they when I went to Maine, they said like, hey, our workers are on vacation for two weeks, but don't worry, they're getting paid and they will be back to help you. I like how Patagonia treat the environment, their workers, and they use their technology very, very well. Like their light jet, their down jacket, super light, but it keeps you so warm. But yeah, Patagonia pants. Amazing, amazing pants. Oh, another thing is that I believe this is the 30 inseam, which is like not the usual thing. So it fits me great. Like I don't have the longest leg and I don't believe most people have a, wear a size 32, 34, you know, like most people wear or 34, 32. Most people have 30 inseam. So the fact that these are 30 inseam, it's great. So it fits me properly and I don't have to take it into the tailor or like fold it inside out, stuff like that. But yeah. Patagonia pants, I will make a review about these. Like, I'll put a photo right now of me like traveling in Europe with it, like in the snow, in the rain, wherever it is, like I love these pants so much. It just, it's incredible. And I will, I will link, I will link all that I can in the description, but I don't believe they have these in black anymore. They have like some weird colorway, which is probably not your cup of tea either, but you know, if you're into colorful things, they will have these on the site and it is 140 so it's kind of pricey but i think it'll be worth it but if there's a patagonia outlet near your house go in there i'm sure they'll have it 
I'm considering traveling to Maine again just to get two more pairs of these because I love it so much. But I also know I shouldn't hoard, I should wear these until they break down and then get another one when I'm ready. Lastly, these are the Sketcher Deluxe Walker. <laughs> I think these are so ugly, so let me tell you the story. So I was in Austria, I was in Salzburg. It was my last time in Salzburg. I went there twice because I love it so much and it was only a two hour train ride from Munich. So I was wearing my Rick Owens at Viha and we've been walking for like five, six hours and it gotten a bit uncomfortable. So then we went to this store right here and then I went in there with the goal of like, okay, let's find the ugliest pair of sneakers and then get it. And I truly think these are ugly in a good way. It's like how the Balencia Triple S is ugly in a good way to some people, but most people was like, damn, that shit's ugly. Who would buy that? But like, I don't know, like, I think the green, <laughs> like, I wouldn't, like, these are not like shoes that I go like look up online and be like, I need that. I am going to walk and I'm going to drive to the store and get that. No, these are just like, I went in there with the mindset of like, find the ugly sneakers and just get it. And like, I could have got the New Balance 555, whatever it is. I put a photo up, like they had that in the store too for like a slight discount. So I could have gotten that, but I was like, I want something ugly. I want something to remember Salzburg by. I want something to remember Austria by. So I got these and I'm, I've been wearing it to work for a few days now. And the the material, the material, the midsole, they're very thick. So there's a lot of support. But one other thing I don't like is that they have fake lace because like you can't tighten it. So whatever it is, it's that. Well, oh, I haven't figured out the tightening system, but there's no extra lacing. It just, this is how it comes. But yeah, so just a quick pickup video. I will review most of these soon. And you know, thank you. Thank you for watching. I should, I should post more regularly now. Bye-bye.